So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Um, taking a peek at the first couple of words there, right? The graph um, tells me that I may also need to create a graph myself. So I call it a plug-in picture question. So my kind of rule of thumb is that if a question ever describes a graph but doesn't provide one, you should draw it. Um, so let's see if that's what's happening here. So the question says the graph of the linear function f has intercepts at a comma zero and zero comma b. So out of habit, I end up just drawing this because why not? It takes two seconds. And then I have these intercepts, but I don't know what a and b are, so I can't really draw them yet. Um, but I do know that I have an x-intercept and a y-intercept. So then it says if a plus b equals zero, well, if a plus b equals zero, there's only really one way for that to happen, right? That means that they're opposite signs. So I wish I knew what those numbers were. So anytime I feel like that, anytime I feel like, oh, I wish I knew what the numbers were for those variables, I tend to make them up. So I'm going to say a equals, let's call it two, and therefore b would equal negative two. And then that allows me to now graph a comma zero, because that would be two comma zero, which would be here. So that's two comma zero. And then also zero comma negative two, which would be here, one, two, negative two. So there we go. So there's my graph. Now I understand I made up to a negative two, but the truth is the graph is gonna look like that no matter what numbers I choose. Um, I take that back, right? So let me see, I could also have said A is negative two and B is positive two. I could have said that, which would change things a little bit because then I'd have negative two here. Maybe I should choose a different color. All right, so I'd have negative two here and then positive two there, so I'd have this, but it looks like these graphs are still parallel at least. So those are my two options. And again, twos could change, but you know the graphs themselves will be will have that general shape. So then it goes on to say a cannot equal b, which we already knew because a plus b equals zero. So we got that. And then which of the following is true about the slope of the graph of f? Well, it looks like the slope in given what I have chosen is going to be positive one, right? So up to right two. In both cases, it's positive one. Um, so it doesn't give me a value here, but A says it's positive, which goes along with what I thought. B says it's negative. Well, I don't think so because I gave two different options for A and B that would make this statement true. And in both cases, slope was positive. Um, so equals zero, nope, is undefined, nope, again, because I at least gave myself two different chances here. And in both cases, it's positive. So the answer must be choice A. And just to make sure you feel more comfortable about this, right? If I had said, let's say you chose a different number, let's say you said A was five, therefore B would have to be negative five in order for A plus B to equal zero. On the same graph, you still have five here, negative five down here somewhere, and you would still have a positive slope, okay? So no matter what you choose, for your A and B, you're going to have a positive slope. So we used a little bit of translate word problem, definitely some plug-in picture, but also plug in your own number. And again, I like to use that. There's two reasons. One reason is not the case for this question. One reason is when you see variables in the answer choices, which is not obviously the situation here. But the other reason why I love to use that strategy is anytime I'm provided with uh, variables and I wish I knew, right? Like A plus B equals zero, that's a very simple equation. So I wish I knew what A and B were, right? So anytime I feel like, well, I wish I knew what those numbers were because that would make my life a lot easier. I just make them up, okay? And in case, obviously making them up has to fit the information provided, right? I can't say A is five and B is three because that wouldn't fit the information provided that A plus B equals zero. But you know, feel free to make numbers up when you need to on this test.